so very long ago, a fine young gentleman named Marion awoke, uh-oh, <laughs> and he emulated a, a fuzzy bunny as being, being kind of a <laughs> sloppy at, in his awakening. Oh, okay, sounds true. But he was on board ship, which makes you sleep well. But when the, the frothy waves had stopped and it came into the wharf, he climbed off, all equipped as a good fisherman would be, with his helm and his shield and his battle axe, and his body tore that was with him. And then walking down the road toward this wonderful manse, and suddenly they heard a sound going, <laughs> Well, 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 it's Darien with his little dwarf. <laughs> now this was a very nice witch. She enjoyed life and say it right, joy to be. And <clears throat> Darian had known her for a long time and knew that her special pleasure was in dancing. So he escorted her in a stately pavan <laughs> through the pavilion <laughs> and she was happy and he felt he had done his duty for another day. And then after they had danced in the pavan, she showed him some of her worldly goods. She had this wonderful emu, this wonderful ox, and she was telling him how she was going to populate the fur and the feathers together to make a special cloak to give to the pregnant queen of Palantir oh, as, a, no. as a, a special gift. But first, they went to a Catholic chapel and prayed for said queen and safe delivery of her child. And then, They decided that life had been good, and they could go back and tell others that he had, Darian had seen the world, his dwarf was happy, the witch had had her dance for a while, and there was a wonderful presence in the making. Thank you. All right. <laughs>